Meanwhile, the Boston Marathon is just two weeks away. Employees of Han Hanover Insurance and the College of the Holy Cross in Worcester have been preparing for months and say they are happy to be running for a charity close to their hearts. Our Brittany Schaefer spoke to runners preparing today and has more. Brittany. Olivia, those I spoke to are running for their parents and their children. They say it's been a long four months of training, but they're excited for the big day on April 17th. Central Massachusetts runners are wrapping up their training with just two weeks until the Boston Marathon. My first Boston Marathon. On my second Boston. So this is marathon number one for me. Shrewsbury resident Paul Belsito has been training since December and says he is ready to represent Central Massachusetts. It's been one of the most inspirational things I've been a part of. When you see that familiar face from somebody out here, someone from home, even in the training, it really helps give you that energy to, to finish it off. Belsito is running with Teddy's team, who's partnered with the American Stroke Association. He says he is running for his mother. My mother passed away from a stroke two years ago, and so um, started to channel that energy a little bit into running and trying to raise funds for a great cause. And I have to run a marathon to do that, I'll do it. I think the charity helps to motivate you a little bit. Emily Davis and Meg Fox Kelly are Holy Cross chaplains and are running to support the Boston Children's Hospital. My son, Peter, has Down syndrome, and so um, he sees a number of specialists at Boston Children's from endocrinology to cardiology. Anything that I'm able to give back to that hospital um, feels pretty good. My son, Kieran, is a patient at Boston Children's, so he was born with bilateral club feet, so his feet were in and up. They literally have gotten him back on his feet again, so to be able to give back to the place that helps him be able to be a nine-year-old little boy is amazing. Davis, Fox, Kelly, and Belsito have been training for more than four months and say the next two weeks is resting time. We're in the easy part now. We're kind of tapering off. And last week ran 21 miles. You know, watching what you eat, trying to stay focused on, you know, keeping a good balance of life. Resting, hydrating, um, eating well, getting enough sleep, just kind of preparing for, um, for, for race day. Now, this is Belsito's first full marathon, and his advice is to go for it because he couldn't run a 5K three years ago, and now he's running one of the biggest marathons in the nation. Olivia. All right, Brittany, thank you.